Okay, so when balancing word equations, as we've mentioned already before, we have to change the words into chemical formulas, right? Or chemical uh, equation symbols. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. And it's question number two. We have chlorine reacts with potassium bromide, yielding potassium chloride and bromine. So if you read that one more time, you can kind of see that we have chlorine reacts with potassium bromide. So we have two reactants. This yielding, remember this is one of the words that means, okay, here's the arrow now in the chemical equation. So we're producing or reacts to form, those kind of words, yields. Potassium chloride and bromine. So we have two products as well. So two reactants, two products, right? Now, Chlorine, you might say, well, I know what chlorine is. It's Cl. And you would be absolutely right, except there is one little rule that I want to talk about here, and it's called, uh, well, I don't, the rule isn't really called, but there are certain elements that always exist in elemental form as a diatomic molecule, not as just elements by themselves. So, for example, here's, here's one, let's say... Um, Okay, BE. If you had solid, solid beryllium, it would be just BE. Okay? That is okay. Just You can just put BE by itself. But there are some elements that always have to be in kind of a, a, a diatomic form. Like hydrogen. It's always H2 when it's just elemental hydrogen by itself. It's always H2. Okay? Um, the others are nitrogen. And you can write these down, okay? These are, there's seven special elements that always exist in the diatomic form when they're in elemental form in a chemical equation. So hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, and bromine, and iodine, or iodine. So how many are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven, and these are called the diatomic seven. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a movie should be made or something. The diatomic seven. You know, we've got the magnificent seven, or what, what is that movie? Ridiculous six, yeah. There's the hilarious 30, that's you guys. Anyways, maybe the diatomic seven, I don't know, I'm, I'm picturing all these, you know, with superpowers or something. Maybe some of them have capes on, I'm not sure. Some can see through walls. I don't know. But anyways, you know what else is neat, actually, about the diatomic seven is, uh, uh, let me, do, oh, here it is. Okay, the diatom, what's neat about the diatomic seven? Okay, watch this. We've got hydrogen over here, and we've got nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and we've got chlorine, bromine, iodine. Check it out. It makes a seven. And then hydrogen. Hydrogen's kind of like the first part of the seven, which is kind of like maybe here, you know, hydrogen. But you see it's seven, so it goes over and down like a seven. See that? Everyone see that? Is that not cool? Right, it's not cool. Yeah, okay. Sorry. I thought that would be cool, but it's not. Diatomic seven. Okay, so chlorine is one of the diatomic seven. It is one of the special diatomic seven, so we have to write it Cl2. When it's by itself. Even though it doesn't say diatomic chlorine reacts with, okay, if it just says chlorine by itself, then it's got to be Cl2. Yeah, question? When it's in, when it's in, okay, we'll get to that, but when it's in a formula, it does not always have to be two. It's only when it's by itself. Yeah, that's right. We'll get to this, and the formula, when we get to that, that's just going to be combining according to the charges on the ions. It has nothing to do with two when it's in uh, a, a compound. Yeah. All right, so reacts with potassium bromide. Okay, so this kind of follows your question, too, because chlorine and bromine are in these compounds. And, of course, we take a look at potassium, which is K+, plus, uh, bromide ion, which is 1-. minus. So 
in a compound, how can we get those charges to balance? What's the ratio? Of, yeah, one to one. So this is, reacts with is plus potassium bromide, KBr. Yielding, we already said that yielding is this arrow here. Potassium chloride, well, that's K plus and Cl minus, so that's KCl. And bromine, so bromine is all by itself. Notice that it is also one of the dun -dun -dun -dun, diatomic seven. And so this is Br2. Please don't do this. Oh, diatomic seven. There we go, we'll put the two there. No, nope. not there. You gotta put the two here. Okay, so literally, this is like two bromines bonded together. Okay, they are bonded together, they are diatomic. All right, so now we balance this. This shouldn't be too difficult. Let's see, two CLs, one CL. Okay, hello. So the CLs are balanced, but that also affects the K. So I have two Ks over here, one over here. There we go. And now that affects the BRs. There's two BRs and two BRs. So we're done, right? Thank you. Ones. Thank you. Yes. Please remember to put the ones there at the end. When, if there's no other number that you put in there, put the ones there. Very, very important. I require you to put the ones there. Okay, so that's the diatomic seven. That's a little bit about interpreting uh, word chemical equations. Okay? Anybody have any questions?